How do you handle those situations when you're out there by yourself and it's a, a blizzard situation or you're in the middle of the desert and you're, you know, tire your your car's half covered in sand and you've got to dig it out or I, I throw minefield minefield <laughs> or you know even like i think i saw you trying to move a, a, a tree you know basically that was in the middle of a bridge or road by yourself you know how do you how do you just keep going through like how do you deal with that both like physically as well as mentally when you're out there by yourself well, uh, physically, I mean, that's you just everybody has their own limits and uh, there's only so much you can push. But but uh, as you kind of alluded to, the mental thing is kind of much more important. And so that's why over and over again, you hear these survival stories of people who were not the most fit people of all, but yet they survived in under very arduous circumstances. And similarly, people who are fit, who collapse just because they don't have the mental toughness to kind of push through that. So I think part of it is uh, mental training, which is just putting yourself in, in in situations that are challenging but not you're constantly pushing that limit it's like a muscle your mental training is like a muscle and so if you're constantly i'll give you an example i tell people who are going to be ready to go on a long backpacking trip i ask them have you ever camped and hiked during a rainstorm and most people haven't because we're like weekend warriors right you know you look at the forecast oh fuck, it's raining fuck it we're just gonna stay home and watch netflix uh, but if all of a sudden but if it's sunny day hey yeah now let's go hike so i tell people if you're gonna go for a long hike gear up and look for a weekend that it's going to be pouring rain or snowing or whatever and then get out there don't get out like super deep but get out maybe just walk a mile or two away from your car and camp sleep outside in those conditions and then you're going to learn about your gear that's maybe not adequate and most of all you're going to learn your mental state and see how how you can deal with that and that's going to toughen you up or you're going to break one of the two and so assuming you toughen up then the next time when you're faced with a much more a little bit more dire situation your muscle your mental muscle is a bit stronger and you'll be able to overcome that